Hey there everyone, uh, welcome to the Flexbox training. So we have seen quite a lot about the containers and it's probably a good time to move further. Now what we are going to learn further from this video onwards are the CSS properties especially in the Flexbox that we can apply to the item which are inside the Flexbox. So it's always easier to just start doing it rather than explaining. So I'm going to copy this starting uh, folder here and I'm going to paste that and let's just call this as i'm going to lower the volume a little bit and uh, i'm going to call this as 05 and there we go let's open that up and i would like to fire my atom again and this time what we're going to do is let's study about the properties uh, which can be applied to the item itself uh, rather than the container but again uh, in order to apply that properties it is very essential that you first of all declare your entire container as a uh, flex so let me open up add project folder and this time it's gonna be 05 open that up and there we go good to go okay so obviously the first thing that we need is to have a lot of items so what i'm gonna do is command shift d to duplicate that for two and three and four and five and six maybe just like that okay let's fire up our server and uh, this should be good so let's bring this guy up okay no big deal so far it looks so amazingly good okay now first thing that we're gonna do is uh, look up for the container so just like always it's really easy container and that is gonna first thing that is gonna have a display of flex okay now this is okay and this is completely okay for us right now and we do have a display flex here. Now we're going to keep this just as simple as it is for uh, but for sure we can add properties like justify content and align items and all these things and uh, that is okay you know that about you know about them pretty pretty good here. Now let's try to give it a border so that we can understand what is happening there and let's try that. So we're going to put a border and that is going to be two pixel solid black and let's also shorten the width a little bit uh, for example let's just say 700 uh, pixel just like that and uh, should make no difference okay now the property that we are going to learn in this video is going to be the order property so we have seen that uh, using the container we can align them from left to right or maybe totally from right to left or can push this entire set just onto the right uh, just like that now what I want to do later on let's just say these are my products here and the client asked me that hey uh, this is my third number product should be the number one product and not like that. Now in just to do this kind of small thing you don't need to actually uh, get a whole CSS or to change the images or whatever you want to do it's it's not like that you can just define that really easily uh, with the help of Flexbox. So let's just say we are targeting the number three. Now there are a couple of ways to handle this for example I'm going to just say a uh, number three is going to be having a class here so oops command z what am i typing here so class and there we go so it is going to have a class of one you can name it anything i'm just naming it class because it's easier to pick the element with the help of class but i'm going to show you how you can pick them without uh, this specific class as well in a minute okay now let's just say this is my class of one and there we go now what I can say is I'm going to say order and I can only mention this property order uh, because I have mentioned the display as flex as the top. Now first of all I'm going to say order zero. Now what is going to happen is nothing because by default the order of everything is just zero. So if you want that this guy should appear at the end so obviously the zero guys will have the first preference and the property which is having the preference of order one is going to come up at the last so the third element comes at the last but again uh, feel free to give it even the negative values because zero is the default so you can give a negative value and bring this guy at the very first okay so pretty simple task to align and by this way you can align anything so let's just say in your image or in your HTML page you have defined a navigation bar, menu controls, divisions and let's just say the client says hey I don't like this division uh, to be at the top I want this to be bottom. You say okay and you define a container to the flex and select that uh, particular division and just move it to that particular order maybe it's a minus one, one, two 
and not only that you can define specific order to each and every guy and they are going to follow this for example uh, let's assign a class here as well so let's just say this is going to be a class of uh, two so now I want that this guy should be the first this guy should be the second regardless of wherever they are defined in my page so let's select another class here so this is going to be my two and there we go now again we do have an order here now this is something that you have to do as a planning so if I just say order minus one to zero uh, this is not going to make a difference here because this is not how the things works you have to be uh, planned a little bit so you can mention that hey this is going to be a order of minus two this is going to be order of minus one and now you can see that the three and fourth are just placed like that okay so this is my one and this is my two okay I hope you get the idea of how the things are done in uh, the order and you can specify all the order properties to anyone that you like now also uh, there are a couple of ways if you're good in a little bit in the CSS you can obviously uh, you don't have to do these kinds of things you can select the properties quite easily and let me show you what what I mean by that let's just say I want to just select this uh, sixth guy and want to make it uh, a display flex of let's just say uh, minus uh, minus six or something like that because we can see that uh, our one which is actually if you notice is three so three is the first guy okay I hope you get that so this is this is three now I want to make it a minus three there to the sixth guy how I can do that it's really simple you don't need to define classes and classes again and again you can simply say hey there is a, uh, a container there this is the container and inside that you can find a division okay so there is a division division here and in the division you can mention the nth child if you wish so I hope it will help me there we go and a child and I can say I'm looking for a child which is at number six position and there we go now you can mention the order property here so oops not like that order property and I'm gonna say minus three and there we go I can actually close them up it's actually good practice so there we go and we can see we have picked it up and this guy is now at the front so the more negative number the more it's going to be at the first on the page so I hope you clear that up and that is pretty good okay now let me summarize quickly what we have done first and foremost part important one is your outer container should be displayed as flex to apply all of these properties and uh, you can select an individual item can assign uh, it a negative number or a positive number or however you want to order these all of the guys the default order is zero but you can override that at any time you can mention specific classes to pick up that item or you can use your CSS skills uh, to pick that item up okay so pretty easy and uh, pretty fun to uh, learn all of this and when we'll be making some projects or menu bars or navigation bar you will realize that when we'll be changing the things that home button from front to back or just like that it becomes super helpful and super easy so stay tuned we are going to do a lot of projects on that as well and I'll surely catch you up in the next video